Hey you guys, so uh, it is Tatany in here, and I am here to explain my step-by-step -step process to this video. Um, here I am doing a very made-up random design. Uh, I got back from work and I decided that I wanted to do something very random and crazy. Um, I was thinking about insects. I was thinking about possibly an ant queen, a fierce warrior and queen and that's kind of what I went with. Um, I didn't uh, sketch down a uh, design or anything. It's very random and I'm kind of just going with it live as you see here and I think that's fun. I think that's something that's an energy that we really all should tap into. We should uh, start pulling things out of our minds and just random just do it. Um, I think a lot of the reinterpretations of all the famous characters of the world are amazing and it's, uh, it's an energy that people uh, are inspired to do. They're inspired to recreate those characters that we're all so fond of, but why not get in there and make your own characters? I really want to try to, um, you know, inspire people to do that. Uh, it's intimidating at first when you get in it and you're like, what the heck am I doing? But you kind of just got to go with it. You kind of just got to be like, you know, keep going. It's going to be that line. It's going to be a winged out liner thing right there. Um, you know, symmetry or not, it doesn't matter. Just keep going with it. The more you do, the more that you add, the more shading. It's just going to become really cool and it's going to be original and it's going to be your own. So that's what I'm doing here. I started out in the beginning with a fader brush. It was a liner fade brush. Um, didn't really like how that was working, so you see here I have switched over to the felt tip uh, liner pen. It's a super awesome one. It is the L'Oreal 24 hour wear. I have a lot of them. I'm a big fan of them. I think the, the opaqueness is perfect. I think the um, safety is awesome. There are uh, no harsh chemicals, nothing like that. It uh, lasts a long time, comes off easy with uh, your cleansing facial products, whatever you use. So that's nothing to worry about. Um, and I kept going with it. Here I'm covering my whole bottom lower lip in black and giving the illusion that I do not have a top lip. Maybe I just have like an encaged area. Um, more lines. Not too sure what I was doing with this whole region of my face, but it came together in the end. Like I said, it only took me about 10 to 15 minutes to do. So, Cool design though. Make it your own, add color in it if you want. Um, something I'd really recommend, I don't really like, I do personally have very dark eyebrows, so I would have rather my eyebrows not show. So then that means I would have put yeah, Elmer's glue on both of my um, eyebrows in order to make them look very smooth and flat to take away from the texture of your hair and then you put your foundation, whatever skin tone you are, you put that foundation on and then you powder that baby in order to set it so that uh, you can put anything on top of it, any other products that you might be thinking of doing. So that's definitely one thing I would recommend. Here I am shading between each individual line. It adds depth, it adds, uh, it just contours edges. It if, you, if I would have done this to my entire face, it would have looked awesome, but like I said, I'm just kind of doing something fast. You can do so much. You can um, add contacts to enhance anything. And please remember, you guys, contacts are very dangerous, and it's your eyes we're talking about. It is very, very important not to disrespect your eyes in any way. So be careful with your contacts. Make sure you know where you're getting them from. You read up about it. Uh, but contacts are always fun. They add to the character. Um, so yeah, I think the whole ant sort of uh, thing I was going for looks awesome. Well, I can't talk. Um, 
Yeah, so just have fun with it. I mean, like I said, you keep going and you keep uh, shading and you keep doing whatever you want to add to it. It's going to come together in the end. You can start uh, doing your neck, you can do your shoulders, you can shade around your entire head. I mean, you can add anything you want and it's kind of yours for the taking. And voila, transform. Keep an eye out, you guys, for um, in the next couple of weeks, I am going to be getting together with a couple of lovely ladies, and I'm getting together with them in a couple days, but I'm going to be posting tutorials on the entire uh, gathering, I'm going to be painting up their faces and transforming them. So stay tuned for that, it's going to be very fun, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope that you enjoyed it and were inspired in some way some strange strange insect of a way uh thanks for tuning in